What's going on, everybody? It's your friend Will. It's the memory lapse. <clears throat> and something I just noticed, and maybe you've noticed it too, they added a new uh, event type that I'm guessing is probably only going for this weekend called Competitive Metagame Challenge. And now either this is a typo or this is just meant to bring out the gamble on people like me. But for 2,000 gold or 400 gems, and we have some gold banks, so we're going to try it. You can win potentially 5k gold and 30 packs of Ravnica. The catch is you can only, you have to go undefeated, basically. So, uh, obviously, <laughs> not an easy task. The break even point is 3 0. I mean, really, it's 2 0, 1500 gold in the pack. Uh, you come out ahead because the pack costs a thousand, right? So you're up 500 gold in that exchange. But anything after that, I mean, even five wins, 10 packs, 3,000 gold. So I think we're going to give this a try. And we're going to try with blue, red, white. Just because it seems like it's our most flexible deck right now. I And w we may change this. I think I want to play, definitely want to play a couple of these. If we see a ton of just like Boros decks, red decks, I really wonder what the the metagame for this event is like, um, we might just switch to like a hateful uh, Twitch Ultima Stark. Oh, I wonder if this person is playing right now. No, it looks like they're not. We have some early interaction. We have a counter spell. These come into play tap, but we can lead with this and then go island. Hmm, looks like they're on Boros. They shocked, which is interesting. So um, that makes me think that they were trying to hold up a shock or something of their own to counter our turn two play. Or this could be some kind of mirror match. In which case, I kind of like our hand for the mirror. Or at least I like the two ionized portion of our hand. <coughs> Let's just keep making land drops. It's a little sad to miss land drop here. It's like they're missing it too, though. did shock to keep up that Shivan Fire, which is pretty much a dead card in this matchup. Um, I wonder if we think about explosioning them for two here at the end of their turn. I'm going to go for it. If it draws a counter spell, that's not the end of the world. And I do want to draw cards and keep pushing ahead. Two, four, six. The only the only disadvantage to this is that if they do, they are kind of incentivized to counter it because then they, they have to discard anyways. So uh, maybe I should have thought about that before I did it. Oh, and they hit us with the Sinister Sabotage. Insight's good for us, though. So we'll get to play this at the end of turn. They're still stuck, which is awesome. Two, four, 
or six, eight. Again, they're incentivized to do this. But we're just getting the counters out of their hand then at this point. And I am, I'm not going to run this on my turn because I, I have these ionizes and in case they do draw a land and try to slam a planeswalker on us, we have to be able to answer that. And them using their counters on our draw spells is just pretty bad for them overall. crash on me. And we're fine to discard this lava coil here. Maybe they have an inside of their own. Yeah. I'm fine letting them resolve that. I'm keeping the counter magic for what matters. like this guy. And now at the end of the turn, we can discard this Justice Strike. Actually, maybe I should have even used Disdainful Stroke there. Pretty sure these essence scatters, unless they main deck any kind of uh, angels. Their list is obviously li is obviously a little bit different. They have a sinister sabotage in the main. I think we have none, and maybe we have like one in the sideboard or something like that. Possibly not even. Yes, yeah, so I'm. I think I want to use the disdainful stroke here. discard an essence scatter. These lands are all good because of our X spell. Oh, that was a whole bunch of bricks. But they don't know that. No, <laughs> these last four draws have been pretty poor. We could potentially lose just because of this run out here, but I have to assume that they're bulk of their hand. Oh, nice. They scooped it up. I mean, they were pretty threat light at that point. If they're on the same mix, they only have three Teferis, one Rao. So we countered three of their four Planeswalkers. Um, so Stroke is good, Negates are good, Search is good, the Insight's good, Neza Hall's good, Rowl's good. The Lyras are potentially good. We know we don't want the Shivan Fires, the Lava Coils, the Lightning Strike. We don't want the Clarions. We don't want the Settles. So I think we are looking to bring in the Lyras then. Now assuming they're bringing in Lyra, I think we do keep Essence Scatter and Justice Strike. And even one Cleansing Nova, c which could catch enchantments. Uh, hmm. We also want this expansion. All right, so let's take out the Cleansing Nova. Put expansion. This is so key for winning counter spell wars. Take out an Essence Scatter. And let's put it in Invoke, just in case. Uh, you know, let's keep Cleansing Nova then. I like keeping both these Justice Strikes because they answer Neza Halls pretty cleanly. Alright. Hopefully this player has at least a win going because uh, 
if they lose this one, they just are at what I think they get 500 gold back for playing. So, hmm, we are at 28 lands, so I think we'll keep this. And was prepared to get like super punished. Yep. Not that I would have been able to interact with that anyways. Okay. Ionize is online. And pretty soon starting next turn we're going to be doing our end of turn insights so field of ruin is a nice clean answer to search if and when it flips and hopefully these insights will keep uh, the land flowing for us So they're choosing again this game to fight over the card draw spells, which I think is interesting. Interesting and not necessarily correct. Though in this case it did work out well for them because we ended up missing a land drop, possibly because of it. Going for it again. So, so they're using their counter spells here, but the cost is that they're not going to be able to have these counter spells in hand to try to win counter spell wars with us over a planeswalker that they might be trying to resolve. They've kept every time, but they're keeping non land, which is interesting. Seal away they kept in. Jeez. Twenty eight lands, come on. They kept with search again. Uh, I think I'm discarding Lyra here. Don't think we're going to... Just because we've missed so many land drops, I don't think we're going to have an opportunity to play this anytime soon. But I think we may need this Justice Strike. Alright, so we're going to shock the Steam Vents. Now I guess we're going to discard the Justice Strike here. They move Essence Scatter to the graveyard. They're close to flipping. I don't think we want to use the insight here, because we'll overdraw. Uh we'll pay two. Just in case there's a, a reason we want to double ionize, I'm not sure. But this also lets us potentially like do counters and kill their Ascanta. They put their Rouse into the graveyard. Huh. So they do nothing here. 
we're going to field of ruin away there is Kanta. Get a basic. They're not even activating it. Uh, and then we'll use chemistry's insight. Discarding essence scatter. Try to keep the lands flowing until we hit, can find a turn where we just unload on them with these counter spells. Wow. Punished. I don't think we can just go for it. We we'll have to just discard it to fairy here, I think. Unless they give us something to counter. Um Since we have to discard anyways, let's just do this. We still have eye and eyes and negate. So they can't safely try to get a planeswalker down. We basically just want to draw land every turn until they blink. Or until we find Neza Hall. Alright, so they're blinking here. They're bored. Which I think works out well for us. It means more likely than not now we have a window to resolve a Teferi on our turn. Oh. This is a little discipline from them. More importantly, this gets like a card out of our hand. We're feeling that pressure. But I think we go for it here. It's going to be pretty hard for them to deal with a Planeswalker in play. So they ionize us. I think we ionize them back. Stick to Fairy. Plus it. Untap and have Negate Mana at least. <sighs> so if they have... Um, the X spell, they're one land short of using it to kill Teferi, and if they try to tap out, we just negate it. Anything that they try to do will negate here. So even if they win this counter spell war, we get to play our own. I have to imagine they have a negator ionize here. Okay, they have a syncopate. So they're Teferi sticks, so they get to minus ours. Which means they're not drawing. Which means we get to play ours and minus theirs. with negate up.
And I think in this situation, since we know they have syncopate, we would use negate to play around another syncopate. Although two might be the only number they have. All right, so this is exactly why we kept in Justice Strike. But we have to set this up so our Teferi survives. So we'll do it on their upkeep before they draw. <sighs> I love this errata now. We don't have to worry about untapping their lands. Let's go red, white. So they can discard three here to save it and not attack the Teferi this turn. Looks like they're going to do that. Wow. Did they sideboard at all? What the heck? Maybe they just don't have a sideboard. So we very badly need to find our own at this point. I love how it's like trying to rope me on their turn because they were taking an action with Neza Hall. Alright, so... Ionized your Teferi. In response because I don't want them to draw off and as a hall. Oh. How many spells do I have down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Enough. Woo. They didn't want to discard three more. Understandable. Alright, I think we got this one. We have two active planeswalkers. We still have counter spells in hand. Because we only only once because we were gonna discard did we try to counter their um draw. But they spent a lot of resources countering our draw spells that have flashback or jump start, which is like a pretty strange maneuver. We were stuck on lands for quite a while because of it, but since these decks don't really create a ton of pressure, it didn't matter. And now we bury them in uh, plus activations. They actually seem to have way more permission than we do. And very weirdly, like, kept in a bunch of removal. I don't think they're playing expansion. Just tapped. Now we're under no pressure. We'll just continue to outcard them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can dome them for seven with explosion. All right, Teferi will get disdainful stroked. We can 
didn't even try to just get Lyra down. We just have so many resources now. Rao did a little bit of work there. Seven damage. Quite nice. These are like backup counter spells too. So yeah, they're just dead. Does Ral show them what I pick? I don't think it does. Nice. All right, that's one in the bank. Ooh, and we played a mirror and we you know, this this happened if you've watched a lot of our um, older videos playing blue-white control and blue-black control. Like, just because of the style of player that I am in my history in the game, I feel like I'm probably better than average at navigating those control mirrors. And also just having played the game for, at this point, jeez, 17 years on and off. You just kind of know, like little things, like you don't counter the, uh, yeah, you don't you don't counter the draw. You counter the spells that matter, and it paid off that game. Wow, it felt like that went a lot longer, but 27 minutes. But I think we'll cut this video here, and we'll try to put this up in chunks so that people can watch match by match. So 1-0 for us, very nice. Uh, let's keep it going. Let's see if we can get to like the coveted five, six, or seven range. This, this might be the type of deck to do it. So stay tuned for the next one. Later.